Sometimes devotees, when Bhagavatam class is going on, if there is a recorded class, oh, I can hear that later. No. It is not whether you can hear later or not. It is sitting in the association of devotees and as a, as a, as a, as a principle, as a practice of sadhana. Sadhana means practice. Sadhana bhakti. You have to sit and hear in the association of devotees at the time when Bhagavatam class is going on. That's very important. And your mind should become uh, controlled in this way. Bhagavatam class time, Bhagavatam class. If there is service which cannot wait, you have to attend, you have to do that. Otherwise, if service can be done later or something can be attended later, please do it later. Don't do it now during Bhagavatam class time. And we should organize ourselves in such a way that we do attend Bhagavatam class and our service should be done later. That's the way we should try to organize ourselves also. Work it out. So, this hearing Bhagavatam, hearing about the activities of the Lord, they are wonderful activities. There is nothing in the world, in the universe which can have such interesting subject matter. Mind you, this Bhagavatam is attractive even for the liberated souls who have no interest in anything of these ordinary topics of this world. Grammy Katha. They have no interest. Absolutely no interest. They also take interest in Bhagavatam. So how wonderful Bhagavatam is. It is wonderful. It's very nice. Just that you have to develop little taste. It takes little time. Discuss. Read. Hear. Think about it. Contemplate on this subject. Little time, at least every day, five minutes. Spend time contemplation on what is this subject matter all about. Whether you have any questions, whether any link or flow you are establishing. Everywhere throughout the Bhagavatam there are links like this. Just like I read from fourth canto, there is a link already in the third canto about Dhruva Maharaj. It comes in the fourth canto, the details of Dhruva Maharaj's pastime. So, everything is given in the Bhagavatam. It's very interesting subject matter. It is very systematically explained. Nothing is left for our imagination or speculation, no. And by knowing this, you become enlightened. So much enlightenment happens. So much enlightenment happens. There is plenty of uh, uh, things for us to know for our practical devotional service also. Even living life in this material world, so many tips are given in the Bhagavatam. 